in the heavyweight division at UFC Paris. This is your main event. You got Cyril Gan coming in 11 and 2, taking on Sergey Spivak, who comes in at 16 and 3. And this is going to be a big time heavyweight showdown. Cyril Gan, one inch taller at 6'4. He's 33. Spivak, just 28. Gan has a three inch reach advantage, 81 to 78. Both guys stand right handed. Now, Cyril Gan is more active, 5.1 significant strikes per minute to 3.8 for Spivak. In terms of the takedown game, that goes to Spivak. He lands five takedowns over the course of three rounds on average. So the next question is, Gan's takedown defense, just 45%. So this is going to be where Sergei Spivak wants to attack. Is going to be in the takedown game. John Jones took down Cyril Gan two times in the defeat, ended up getting the submission. So he exposed him there. Pretty easy victory for John Jones. Gan did beat Ty Tuavasa by KO. You know, two of us didn't have much of a takedown game. Francis and Ghanu did. He took down Gan four times in the victory by decision. Now, Gan also beat Derek Lewis, Alexander Volkov, and Jairzinho uh, Rosenstrike uh, to win four of the last six. Now, Polar Bear, a.k.a. Sergei Spivak, he's got a takedown defense of 70%. Not bad at all. He's coming off the win against Derek Lewis by submission. He beat Augusto Sakai by KO, Greg Hardy by KO. He did lose to Tom Aspinall, who's a top-ranked contender in his own right, by KO. But he's beating everybody else. This is why uh, people think this is going to be an easy win for Cyril Gaon. I'm here to tell you it's not going to be. I do think Cyril Gaon gets the victory, right? But he is going to be taken down a few times in this fight. It's gonna, There's going to be some problems in that department. He's going to get exposed. Every time he faces a fighter who's got some type of takedown game, you know, Francis Ngannou, John Jones, of course, those are two of the best there is. Uh, he loses. But Sergey Spivak is not John Jones or Francis Ngannou. So, therefore, Sergey or Cyril Ghan, excuse me, will come through in the end. Maybe it goes to a decision. If Ghan's going to win, it's going to be early, first or second round. If not, Spivak's going to get off on the takedown to make this fight a lot closer, make it come down to the fifth round. But Cyril Ghan's fighting in Paris. He's got the crowd behind him, and I think that gets him over the top in a very close fight. He wins and moves to 12-2, and two, likely by decision, maybe by fifth-round KO. We'll see. But he'll get the win, in my opinion, heavyweight division, UFC Paris.